Hello and welcome back to Eternal Darkness. Now, we left our Indiana Jones chapter behind and now we are going to... see books fly across the library. Alex discovers a pulp novel written by one Dr. Edwin Lindsay among the books on the shelf. This is where the tome of Eternal Darkness can indicate there was something hidden behind the book. Neat. Got me a heart. Yeah, I'll have that. Heart of Mantarok. What could possibly go wrong? Some dick ghost is walking in the library. Whatever. So, now we have the dispel magic. Some creepy shenanigans afoot. Luckily we're not that insane. It's all good. Still can't do anything about this yet though. Go figure. Look at this nonsense. I ain't having no crappy Zeratos spell in my house. Mm. Aha! Kablam! Oh, I love floating stuff. Always handy. I'll take the chapter page, thank you very much. Called Heresy. Oh lord. Speaking of heresy. I especially love the tentacled monstrosity in the background there. And the skulls, they add to the sort of peace. A lot of pargons in that sentence. Man, having a conversation with these guys must be a real pain in the ass. That's a pleasant looking, uh... thing. The right reaction to have. Well done, gentlemen. I am not your food today. Food! I am your master. Your task is to guard the artifact before you. Let no one touch it. It's my lobster, and I want it stuck in there behind the stained glass window. Got it? No prob. Maybe we can't lose more sanity. I want to see some more cool sanity effects for like Alex around the house. We ain't. Alex decided to randomly swing the other. That was not me. Anyway, point being, what we can do now is um, open the inventory and use the chapter page. In Europe, oh, during Europe. the time like of Europe. the Inquisition, paranoia and corruption ran deep. With the fear of devilry running rampant, the ancients' corruption extended f far beyond mortal knowledge, corrupting all that could be corrupted. Like your voice. My researches uncovered an interesting incident. A Franciscan monk named Paul Luther was traveling through the region of Amiens during the witch hunts of the Inquisition. Now, under martial law, the Inquisition prevented anyone from leaving the town and its nearby cathedral. For everyone was suspect. Everyone was suspect, including those green lions and the weird bitty thing that appear there. They're the most suspect of them. Hey, Paul. Welcome to Oublier Cathedral, Brother Luther. You're the most evil looking man I've ever seen. I'm glad that our sacred order can bestow hospitality on our Franciscan brethren. I shall not impose, Excellency. I merely request lodging and a viewing of the sacred relic, the Hand of Jude. Many have traveled far and even risked their lives for a glimpse of the hallowed relic's true splendor. But I keep it down the back. Here, let me show you. Whoop. It would be wise to keep quiet during your stay. The Inquisition is here for a reason, brother. We seek to purge the deviancy from this town. I am sure that will not be a problem. Amiens appears to be a peaceful hamlet. Well, so you it think. appears. To ah, me. exactly. But deviancy is secreted in the most deceptive places, which I believe is the case with Amiens. Then I wish you luck in your search. The Inquisition does not need luck, Brother Luther. We only need evil! Faith and purity are our guides. Oh, well, that. I mean. <laughs> 
Or just walk off. It's the most evil looking bastard I've ever seen. Alright, so. Now. You may recognize this place. Alright, ready? Do you recognize it? It's kind of like a bigger version of where we were before. Kind of. Oh my! For the love of God! God! Help! Come quickly! Wait, didn't you come in here before me? <laughs> Look, it's a sinister brigade. A murder! A murder most foul! What heresy is this? I... I found him lying here. He lies! Dead. Kill him! I called the guards. Ah. Uh, is this our first suspect? Make sure no one touches the body. It must be examined for signs of devilry. Oh, there's definitely devilry. As for this man, make sure he doesn't leave the cathedral. We will question him later. But Hold your tongue, Franciscan. Or it might bring my wrath upon thee. Who is to say that you did not commit this murder? murder? If you trust in the Almighty M -m 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 -murder. and you are indeed innocent, then you will have nothing to fear. Except for the fact you're the most evil looking fuck I've ever seen. My god. I wish I could look that evil on a bad day. Neat. The painting captures Paul's attention. A small emerald. Blah 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 blah. Do you want to nick it? <laughs> yeah. If I've been uh, asked about murder and stuff, I'm swiping the jewels. Are you here to pass sentence on me? No. I'm here to free you. You are in incredible danger. This cathedral used to be a place of peace. Now many strange things happen here. I don't want you to end up like the others. The others? What do you mean? The body you found was Brother Andrew, and he was killed to protect a secret. We can't talk about it here. Find me in the bell tower later, and I shall aid thee further. Why are you releasing me? I don't want to see another innocent die like your Franciscan brethren. I have seen Brother Andrew make numerous entries into his journal. This may contain the answers to the cathedral's dark secrets. What can I do? Panic! If <laughs> I were you, I'd run. They will surely hunt me if I run. This has to stop. Then be it on your own head, Luther. Find Brother Andrew's journals if you can. He spent time in the old tower investigating. I believe I can find the key to the old tower in one of my stores. Later, come find me in the bell tower, and I will give it to you. Be swift. We can't evade them forever. Or for more than 30 seconds, knowing me. I'm not the most stealthy man in the world. Probably because I'm very loud and obnoxious. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, now I've stolen some shit. I can leave. Which is always handy. No, brother Paul, this way. But first, evil most foul. I'm always surprised this doesn't dent their sanity. Honestly. Do 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 do. Morning, morning. Nice to see you. Pleasant day. Yep. Just taking the evil-looking book coming out of the hand on the ground with all the screen faces, and I oh, should leave. No problem. Not a word. He's just like, yeah, that's cool. We out. So now I must sneak around. Sneakily. Like, super sneak. And basically now we just start looking around. There's something important to get in this chapter as well. Except for the, you know, not dying thing. That's always important. Oh, isn't that nice? The stained glass pictures. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, we've got average health, decent magic, and average-ish sanity. But it's gonna take us a bit of severe dent soon. Hey, dude. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy. What a joker. You go that way. No, no, no. We're gonna play tag. You're gonna play tag, but you're dead. See? So I'm just gonna run this way. <laughs> Laters. God, what a joker. So, first order of business, we're looking around. I say that's the first order of business because I honestly can't remember. It's been too long. 
I could ring. Paul is nervous about ringing the bell, fearing his own capture. It is a custodian's task to ring the bell at an appropriate time. Perhaps he will later learn to ring. Should I ring the bell anyway? Damn right. Ding ding. Of course everyone will know I'm up here. Why you didn't just wait for me so I didn't have to ring the bell would have been great. What's up, Duda? Oh, just walk past me, you rude bastard. Let's have a bit of a chat then. Ah, oh, Brother Luther, not a moment too soon. As you have noticed, dread things inhabit this place. It did look kind of crispy. Shambling corpses, and worse. There is darkness at work here, in the midst of the Inquisition. How fitting. I suspect it is worse than that, but I have no proof. Except for the corpse, of course. Brother Andrew knew this also. And pay the price for it. What about the dead body? Why are you telling me this? Perhaps you can finish off what Andrew started. Take this key. It unlocks the old tower. It has been sealed off since the Inquisition arrived. I intend to uncover the truth behind this. If you manage to uncover the source of darkness, return here, and I will do everything I can to help. Till then, brother, may your faith protect you. Nah, dude, faith sucks. How about a weapon? No? No? So, what do we have on me? We have a meditation rod, which does what it says on the tin. The Tome of Darkness, an emerald, and the key. Uh, I don't know if I actually can do damage magic yet. I don't think I have the spells for it. Uh, oh, my runes. Project. No, I don't think I've got what I need. Oh yeah, I did actually miss the Mantarok rune last time, the codex for it, tell us what Mantarok was. But since we all know what Mantarok is, we're not going to miss it. For those who want for walkthrough sake, the actual rune was literally where the monster burst through last time. I totally forgot to pick it up, because I'm a dummy. Apologies! There you go. That's what happened to it. Do, do, do. There's nothing evil at work here. It's always lightning storms, isn't it? When there's evil afoot. Of course, be screwed if any guards are around here. But luckily, we don't have a problem with guards. See? Nah. There is no one here. Convenient. Perhaps we should fondle the man's body. Mm, Cutscene itis tells us it may have left, though. Now, I believe that's where we want to go, but let's have a quick look around first. The altar. There's no holy. No crucifix. No Bible. Paul is what by the sight? Disturbed by this sight. Uh, very disturbing thing. No holy relics. Although we have crossbow bolts. Now, quite frankly, the crossbow is dog shit, so we're not going to be using it. Uh, and we want to find a way of opening that. That's what it said. I'm paraphrasing here. Just, just roll with it. Now, of course, we can quickly pop down into the basement. Of course, we are incredibly unarmed still, which is never a good thing. Though there are goodies to fondle. Crossbow bolts. Personal artifacts. A bed. Must be somebody's room, don't you think? More importantly, a leather-bound book. What does it do, you might add? I can't remember. Let's have a look. This is the forgeries of the Requiller... Reliquaries? Dating back to the late 13th century. Exquisitely... Uh, Illuminated? Yeah. And bound with hard leather, it reads, Doubtless, many obscure orders requiring more income than can be garnered from the tithe reported to forging ancient, resorted to forging ancient relics to bring people from outside their religion to their de- Damn it. And thus, DOCs. DSAs? Not, not so good with the old English. And thus, it could be quite a relic in regular world, I just don't recognise it. Sorry! And thus become more lucrative. While it could be said that a false hope is still hope, relics such as Cuth Cuthbert's Jawstone, the Hand of Jude, and the infamous Thigh, thigh Bone Flute of Connaught, while being forgeries, deceive the righteous unjustly. Their existence as true relics are no heresy. So, there we go, we found out that the so-called Hand of Jude does not exist. Or, but well, it does exist, but it's a forgery. Just cause no good to anyone. More crossbow bolts for my crappy crossbow I won't be using. Big old bellows here. The bellows mechanism supplies the organ upstairs with air. It requires expert hand and attention to keep it in working order. 
more importantly, it's a beating device. Paul has acquired the mace. Yes. That's not the mace. It looks kind of similar though. Check it out. Now we can beat things to death. Yeah, go Paul. Woo. 